welcome back to episode three of Bear Hunt. And we are on two and a half hearts. Our mission, capture a zombie villager, cure him, and name him Dave. But that really isn't the mission right now. That really, really is not the mission right now. The mission right now is to find a village, ideally find a desert, try and heal ourselves. We are poorly, poorly sick not engage the enemy that is the plan we need to not engage the enemy we are half suited and booted so we need some more iron for a chest plate and some leggings that's going to help we need one piece of iron for a shield that's also really going to help us but i want to get excuse me i want to get to a village that is the plan for this episode we have got 10 minutes of daylight to get there um in fact, we're, we're good for food. I'm going to stop killing cows after this one. In fact, I'm not even going to kill any more cows. We've been heading south now. This is day three of heading south. Still not come across a village. Not seen one on the horizon or anything. So, let's see. Just need... A break. I'm so reluctant to head back into the trees because mobs can spawn but then most mobs can spawn in there too so let's jump up here and just no villagers anywhere I honestly don't know what to think this is very peculiar but sometimes you can travel for days in Minecraft without seeing villagers what we need to be careful for is avoiding drops like that one that I just jumped over uh, as we try to get there and what have we got oh, there's a decent amount of sand there that's quite a big beach are we near a desert no but i tell you what we've got a boat that'll speed up traveling around where's a turtle fortunately the mission did not find a turtle so but this could really speed things up I need a desert. Is that a desert? That could be a desert. Let's just head quickly in this direction and see if it does look deserty. It looks mountainy, whatever it is, but it doesn't look deserty. No, those are just hills. Hmm. Right, dolphins, have you seen anything? What else can we use? Use, use your 113 noggin. What do we know? What do we get? We'll get Heart of the Seas. I don't really care about Heart of the Seas. They're not particularly helpful. Hmm, but I need a village. Hmm. What have we got rendering up there? There's just mountains in the distance again. No villagers. I'll tell you what, let's sail. We'll stay close to the shore, but let's sail. We'll cover a lot more land this way. And hopefully, I'll cover a lot more distance this way, should I say. Hopefully, we'll come across something. Hmm. It's a swamp, which is worrying, because we might end up with some witches, but that's fine. Absolutely fine. My concern is that it's going to get to night time again, and we're going to have to go and secure a cave... Hmm. Anything resembling a village. There was a really weird square chunk tower there. If you can see it just over there in the distance, it looks like that's just one perfect square of uh, raised chunk. Okay, so let's make land here, which I'm not particularly keen about. But, so what are we on? Are we on a little... Okay, so we're in a swamp. Any villages? No, of course not. Hmm. But on the plus side, I mean, I think the mission for this episode should be just to not take any more damage. I mean, that'd be great. If we could just stay at two and a half hearts, that would be amazing. 
So let's not fall down there. Yes, if we could avoid the ravine, that would be spiffing. What time are we on? We've got three minutes to go till nightfall. Hmm. Possibly not even that. I tell you what, we probably ought to try and find a cave to live in. Which could be the end of us, I'll be honest. But we need to get some more iron. We need to try and get some armour. This looks like a suitable candidate. Is this a cave? It's not a cave. Is this a cave? This is also not a cave. Stressful, 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 stressful. Ah, let's go this way. Planes. Planes would be good. Let's go over to the planes. I've got a, I've got I've got an idea. It's not it's not my greatest idea. Cuz I've just thought this is day 3 and I'm not actually laying in a bed yet. We have a bed with us. But it's day 3 and we haven't laid in a bed. So di we could end up in a bit of a disaster here. What time is it? So it's about to start going dark. So what we need to do I could do with finding a body of water. This is a body of water. I need to get as many. Uh, that's going to be a lot easier to get down from. And what we're going to do. <laughs> and I may regret this. And this is going to provide 10 minutes of spectacular viewing. Well, it is night time. But what we're going to do is we're going to pillar up. Right, we'll put a torch down. Still, no villagers anywhere, honestly. Right. Uh, I've done this over water so that uh, when the d sunlight comes up, we can actually lay down and start again. But we need to make a little bit of a platform because what I am going to do is I'm going to pop my bed down up here. But I need to do it. As I need to do it so that when we come out of the bed, we don't fall to our death. But I also need to do it because I don't know when. There we are. I don't know when the phantoms would have otherwise spawned, so we needed to do that. Uh, which way is south? So that is south. Right. Uh, oh, bear with me. There's someone at the door. I'll be too sick. Two ticks. Well, it's very inconsiderate of them coming and knocking on my door while I'm playing Minecraft. Whoa! Whoa. That lag nearly took me over the edge. That would have made me very sad. Right, so it should be water. We just So that should be water down there. So we would be able to drop straight down, but obviously we're not going to because it's night time. So I tell you what, let's just set up operations. We've got bit more food that needs cooking um honestly though that's it we really need to go i was hoping i was going to be able to see a village from up here but nothing absolutely nothing on the horizon and i don't know what but still so there's going to be mobs starting to spawn now skeleton 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 Mm. 
I mean, obviously, we, we just can't go back down there because we'll, we'll die. Hmm. Could have made some protective snow golems. Hmm. So this river goes over there. But I can't even get into the river because if then we've passed some skeletons, they'll just shoot at us. So what options have we got? I've got no string. And we need to find a village. Hmm. I tell you what, we could do though, whilst we're up here not doing anything else. Video settings. Render distance. Because we're not doing anything else at the moment. Get some lag spikes. But maybe this is an inspired moment of genius, ladies and gentlemen. An inspired moment of genius. Because you can see there's a lot more rendering. Because we were only rendering 17. Fine. There's some creepers down there. Which is fine when you're trying to play the game, but when you're not playing the game, because you're trying not to die because you're a wimp, slash an idiot. Oh, there's some light over there. That light's going to be lava. There's some light over there. That might be lava. The world's still rendering over there. Hmm. This isn't revealed as much as I was hoping it was going to reveal. But I suppose it's going round and round in a circuit. Hmm. Anything's going to reveal itself to us. Nothing obvious that looks like it could be the light of a village. I just, be, I'd be, I mean, we've not seen over there yet, obviously, because it's not been in render distance. Maybe that's the direction that we want to go in then, because that looks, that is also a plains biome in that direction. So I know I said we were going south. But there's nothing in that direction. There's a bit more swamp so we can sail down it. So the world's still rendering. So unless we end up with anything that definitely looks like a village, I would say that the plan would be when it gets to daylight to head in that direction. Hmm... Anything, anything of interest. Nothing over there. Absolutely nothing over there. That's just trees and trees and death. Right. That's where we've been. Nothing over there. It doesn't look like there's anything else rendering over there. Let's just stay staring in that direction. Just so a bit more of it renders in. That's definitely the way to go, though. That's a big place. That looks like it might be a massive crevasse, which is worrying. Hmm. Let's see. So we've got six minutes left. We just need... I don't know what... There's a zombie villager there. But then there's uh, two skeletons and two creepers. I mean, I could do with a bow. Well, this isn't the most exciting end, is it? I mean, we could just make a run for it, but the skeleton's everywhere, and if one arrow hits us, that is it, we are dead. So we can't do that. Right, so that's, anyway, that's the direction that we're going to go in. And there, there's a witch. That's not what we need, because she won't go in the daylight, so we need to avoid her at all costs. Go 
boat. But if I could kill her, she might drop a potion. And, and, and. Do. Uh, do witches huts spawn potion stands? Because there's a giant swamp there. Don't they, I don't think they do. I don't remember ever finding one unless it's a really rare drop. But I'll tell you what, it does ice biomes in igloos. Which would also, ironically, be amazing. So if we can find an ice... In fact, that's going to be... Is that the best solution? I mean, the rare are ice biomes, but if we can find an ice biome with a with an igloo that's got the actual basement in it, then there'll be a zombie villager in there and a golden apple and the splash potion of weakness. That could be really easy. We've just got to find one. That's possibly a better idea. Rather than just trying to find a villager, capture a zombie villager, and then go out and take him. But that seems anyway, anyway... That's for another day. We need these guys to catch on fire, which will be within the next minute. But yeah, if we can find an icy biome, we need to not rule that out if that ever becomes an option. Hmm. As soon as these guys set, start burning, I'm going to set off. It's still the middle of the night. Come on. Tell you what we're going to need to do. We're going to need to before we set off for the day. We're going to need to go to a distance. So drop back done. Back to game. And now we can't see over there. there we are. That's the direction. We're going. As soon as these guys are on fire. Come on! Oh, there was another lag spike there. I uh, nearly fell off the edge. Right, I tell you what, I'm going to have a quick drink, get a quick drink while this is doing. Not the most exciting end of the episode, but we're going to make a run for it as soon as possible. I promise you. And next episode, we are going to find a village. We're going to do something and we're going to die. To, we are going to get a shield next episode if we have to die in the process. Which wouldn't be particularly helpful, but I'll make a deal with you. If we die, I will continue uh, the next series immediately after this. So if I die in the next episode, I will start the next series immediately. So we will go straight from Season 2 to Season 3. But, ideally, we're not going to die. What we're going to do is we're going to find a village. It's going to have a golden apple in. I'm going to eat it. And everything's going to be wonderful. It'll only get me two hearts back which isn't great, but it's two more hearts than I've currently got, because this is one arrow to the face and I'd be dead. Hmm. Hmm. Why aren't you on fire yet? Is that Enderman? There's an Enderman down there. I mean, we could challenge him to a fight. That'd be a terrible idea. Right, so there's a skeleton there. That's not a great idea. There are zombies there, but they're going to catch fire. But there's no skeletons there. I can't... There's... Why aren't they on fire yet? Why aren't they on fire yet? Are they not on fire because they're not loaded? Right, this could this could be a disaster. Right, he's on fire. Great, that's good. That's good. That's good. Ooh, so we can't let him get it actually into the water. Great, right. So that means that the mobs are on fire now. So as long as there's no creepers in the way, we can sprint over in this direction. We need to get over to the plains. Hopefully there's no skellies hiding under the tree. Run. Right. I want to try and cover as much ground as I can before the end of this episode. I've got two seconds left. 
Right, guys, that is it from me. Let's just quickly stop that. Uh, so that's it from me, guys. Thank you very much for watching this episode. If you did enjoy it, please do leave a like. If you haven't already, subscribe for more of these episodes, and there will be a survival series starting soon, I promise you, within the month. Uh, hopefully within a couple of weeks, but I can't promise anything yet. I've got a load on at work at the moment. But that is it from me, guys. I will catch you in the next episode. <laughs>